Jellyfish belong to the phylum Cnidaria, which is derived from the Greek word nidi, literally meaning stinging and include sea anemones, ceranthus and reef-building corals, as well as gorgonians, alcyonians, and pearl coral. Organized like an umbrella, the jellyfish body consists of an umbrella that allows a manubrium to dangle in its center ending in a mouth. The umbrella is fringed with threads called tentacles. There is a huge variety of jellyfish, about a thousand species, ranging in diameter from a few millimeters, 75% of jellyfish invisible to the naked eye to 2 meters. Shapes are also very diverse, round, square, flat, dome-shaped, massive, or airy. Their periphery can be smooth or lobed, tentacles absent, as in rhizostomes, or very numerous, up to 800 in cyania. The main characteristic of cnidaria are their stinging cells, called cnidocytes, present on the tentacles, but sometimes on the entire jellyfish. Jellyfish are best known to the general public for the irritation they cause to bathers. If the species that inhabit our coasts are the source of many annoyances, other species, such as the tropical Cubomedusa, can be infinitely more dangerous, even deadly. The nidocyte contains a vacuole, a pocket filled with venom in which a mini harpoon, a hollow, spiral filament dotted with spines, driven by a tiny cilius, the nidocyl. When the nidocyl touches its prey, the mini harpoon is ejected, injecting poison. The nidocytes are lost when they remain attached to the prey, but new cells regenerate within 24 hours. These cells produce their own toxin and filaments. Despite their apparent fragility, jellyfish are remarkably durable, close to immortality. Their originality and, certainly their greatest virtue lies in their adaptive life cycle. Their mode of reproduction, sexual and asexual, is adapted to environmental conditions. Despite their apparent simplicity, jellyfish have much to teach us. Although the Cnidarian group separated from other animals more than 600 million years ago, jellyfish have sensory sensors, light or balance, strangely similar to our own. In order to navigate in open water, without reference points, some species of jellyfish have tiny organs, statocysts, which are true models of the balance organ in the human inner ear. In the most evolved jellyfish, the statocysts are grouped with the olfactory fossa and visual cells in an organ called copulum. Some jellyfish can be thought to have the prerequisites for what will become the brain in other species. Jellyfish are not called that by accident. Carl Linnaeus, the Swedish naturalist who, in the 18th century, catalogued, named and systematically classified most of the species of living creatures known at his time, recognized in these spherical animals surrounded by tentacles, the famous jellyfish of Greek myth with the hair of a snake, which petrifies at the mere glance. Learn the history of jellyfish knowledge from Aristotle to the present through the French Revolution, which influenced the choice of name species by the young naturalist Francois Perron.